Cabin oxygen is provided by chemical generator canisters that are stored in containers along with the associated hoses and masks. There are two, three, or four masks attached to each generator. The presentation of the mask to the users is provided by opening the container door. The containers are provided in the passenger service units or PSUs, lavatories, and flight attendant stations. The container door latch is normally released when electrical power is applied to the door solenoid. Automatic door opening is initiated by a signal from an altitude sensing aneroid to all container doors. This automatic deployment of the masks is set to operate at 14,000 feet plus 250 feet minus 750 feet cabin altitude. Some aircraft have a high altitude push button that changes the altitude for automatic mass deployment. Selecting the high altitude landing push button to on changes the automatic mass deployment altitude from 14,000 feet to 16,000 feet plus 250 feet or minus 750 feet. Check your procedures for operating into high altitude airports. If necessary, a pilot can push the mask manual on push button to manually signal the door solenoids to release. When the door solenoids have been powered to open the doors, automatically or manually, the white system on light illuminates and the passenger address system broadcasts a pre-recorded instruction of how to don the masks. A single container door can be manually opened by use of a manual release tool. Pushing the pin of this tool into the small hole in the door will cause the door latch to be released. Now this action may be necessary to open a door that's failed to open via the solenoid action. Note, the system on light will not illuminate if a door is opened with the MRT. The generator is activated by the first person to pull a mask toward their face. Pulling the mask pulls a lanyard to a firing pin. The firing pin snaps to activate the generator. When the generator is activated, pure oxygen flows from the generator through the hoses to all masks. Once activated, the generators create oxygen for about 22 minutes. The amount of oxygen flow is very low, and a majority of the air a person breathes is drawn in through the ambient air valves on the front of the mask. The chemical process generates heat. The surface temperature of a generator is extremely hot, and a burning odor may be detected, along with an increase in cabin temperature. The generators should never be touched after they've been activated. Now, the only normal procedure for this system is that during the pre-flight, the system on light is extinguished, and during the cabin pre-flight, all container doors are verified closed. This completes the description of the cabin oxygen system. Next, to answer some questions.